Hey everyone, welcome to my fourth and final part in this luxury vlog series, which I filmed throughout uh, November. And it's kind of, it's a little bit lockdown focused, but in a positive way. If you haven't seen any of the previous vlogs, I'm gonna link to them below. And there's some footage here from those vlogs so that you can see what we kind of did in them. In this particular one today, I'm gonna take you around Fendi and I'm gonna show you, uh, or I'm gonna tell you when the Fendi sale starts. We're also going shopping specifically for uh, loungewear. So we're in Harrods. I hope you enjoy watching and yeah, I'll leave you to watch. Look at this, Harrods car park. So busy. The queue goes all the way back down the road and into there. So like, everyone's trying to turn. I think this guy's going to try and push in. So we're going to we're going to drive up and. Um, go to this other place where we can park. It's a bit more of a walk. And then take a left. Yeah. You know where you are now, don't you? Yeah, then Slow I'll go left you. and then... Yeah. Or oh, I can go straight on, but I don't know that way. Uh, yeah, that way straight, on. straight on's Belgravia, isn't it? Oh, I think it's, I don't, I don't know it for sure and I don't want to tell you and then it ends up being, you know, just annoying. We are now uh, on level one and um, we're going to go and have a look in Fendi and then also I think, yeah, I want to have a look in Fendi because I don't really come in here and there is a bag that I've seen that I like the look of as well as a jacket. Don't know how they're going to be in real life, but we'll give it a try. I actually quite like that jumper. I didn't really do too much talking while I was walking around here because I was trying to be incognito, but I'd gone in specifically looking for a jacket, which looked, a, the jacket looked a bit like this dress on the top. I tried it on and it wasn't at all nice. You're gonna see it in a minute. But the Fendi sale, by the way, it commences on the 26th of December, 2020. The things, I've already seen some of the items that are going to go into the sale. It doesn't really tend to be the monogrammed items because they're quite popular, but it's seasonal clothes and seasonal shoes. No bags, no accessories. Um, and I guess you'd need to go in store to actually be able to shop the sale. So I'm just looking at this bag. This isn't actually the colour that I want it in. But it's good to just be able to see the size of it. So this is it. And then this is it on the inside. I mean, for me, this is the perfect size. And then you've got the top top handle, sorry, as well as the crossbody. Yeah, it's really, really cute. Okay, yeah. I'm just editing this footage and every time David took the camera on this day he's filmed some really strange stuff and I saw this and it's really funny but it's really weird. I, I don't I don't know what the point of it is but it's Quite amusing, I suppose. Yes, yeah, right. How much footage did I get? That was covert. No one saw that I know of. Did you see how I big saw. David saw? I saw. We've just come now because we want to look for some some kind of like beauty items, face masks, uh, uh, candles and things like that. They've got perfumes. Hello. Hello. We didn't know they did perfumes. Yeah, you're not in it, don't worry. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going my way. Oh, okay. What with the mask, no one knows. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, 
Oh, that's the best. What one's that one? That is a popular one. This one. Can you smell it? Yeah. You just wiped it on my mask Sorry. and now all I can <laughs> all I can smell is that now. What's your favourite? My favourite is Mibidu. So the one before this thing. Yeah, that's quite nice. What's this here? Oh. So that's a snow globe. So if you purchase a minimum of two products, you get a snow globe oh, as a gift okay. purchase. It's the um, Harrods Advent Calendar. £250. And you know, actually, looking at it, I think that's not too that seems quite reasonable, actually, given the products that are in it. I mean, some of these calendars are 500 you know, and then you look at it and it's all sample sizes. I mean, some of these are, but... Oh, there's one thing I want to look at, hampers. Hampers, okay. So we're going to go and... Oh, Kylie Skin. I didn't know they were here. Right, we have to pick the flavor that you want for the bar. What flavor are you going to get? Like I don't even know what that smells like. Well, it's you still think you can do that is uh oil and then the shower gel Is that okay? Um I think you smell them and tell me. They are pretty cool those vases. Huh? David would break them. If there is anything, if I buy anything that is china or glass, I am not joking you. Isn't this true? Normally, you, Isn't you, it hear, true? normally you hear a crash. No, do you know? And you go, what's that? And I go, nothing. No, 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 I've got to tell you something. <laughs> um, a while ago, we got given this uh, vase thing for our wedding, and I quite liked it. And <laughs> I don't know why, but David picked it up to move it, and he was walking past the kitchen in the corridor, and I heard this massive smash. And I knew what he'd done. And I just looked up at the door and he walked backwards, looked at me and he was like, don't, don't say anything. I was like, I hadn't said anything. And the thing is at that point, I couldn't stop laughing. Even though it was, I mean, it's a vase at the end of the day, but the funniest thing was, is that David dropped it and then had a go at me. And I always joke now, don't touch anything. Oh, it's straight up, there we go. Bedding section. I've just got the feeling there's going to be the mother of all sales in here come Christmas. Because no one, I think there's going to be the mother of all sales yeah, in here at Christmas. Probably, probably. And it will be decent Hello. stuff. <laughs> What's, why are you laughing? Because I saw, I was thinking that gold bath mat, I would have had it in my bathroom. Why? Because it, look, it looks really... David would take all of that for his like bathroom. So I'm having the... I want a the, gold bath mat. Why? Because it looks You're so very good. extra. It looks so lovely. Oh, well, here's some more for you. No, it's got to be like towels with like... <laughs> Stop it. Towels with gold thread in them. You wouldn't turn down a bath. I wouldn't turn down a bath. God, there's even a toilet They're stick thing there. there. That's... We've made it to the white company. It smells in here nice, kind of like cinnamon. You know that potpourri stuff they make at Christmas? 80 pounds, I mean it seems like... Oh, they do hampers, that's a good idea. What's that? Uh, something that you put oh, on the door. Oh, North Star. That's a good idea. Yeah, the hampers are a good idea. I'm going to put your bag here. I can zoom it, that's as far as it goes. We found it. The Harrods Christmas section. I thought you might quite like to see it because the decorations in here uh, that you can buy, like the baubles and stuff, each year they're quite nice, quite creative. Go on, tell me what's in, what is in the Harrods Christmas cracker? Right. So price wise? Price, 
this is going to be. How much is it? So I think it'll be on the back. back. 115 pounds. Okay. Ro mirror. Mirror. Lipstick holder. Yeah. Uh, silver tape measure. Yeah. Wine pourer. Rose gold Rose cocktail, gold cocktail picks. picks. Sparkly pen. Oh, okay. Oh, and a diamond necklace. No, there isn't. I bet they. I bet they've got those here though. Oh, really? really? <laughs> Where are they? Seven hundred and fifty pounds. They actually look yeah. good. They do look good though. But this year, I think ours is like the, the better one for this year because usually they're nearing a thousand pounds. Wow. And they didn't have like half as good of items in them. So like these ones, each item is exclusive, so you can only get them in that exclusive size. Wow. So like the Roger perfume and the Citra John candle, you can get the scent upstairs, but yes. you can't get it in the, the smaller size. Right. Um, and they work as like pretty good gifts for anyone really. So you get people that come in, they'll buy like a box, but yeah. then they actually gift someone. Oh yeah, it's quite good. Yeah. So yeah. Be, yeah. Um, That's a good idea actually. Good. So it sounds a lot, when you think about it, it's you're only paying 450 for the gifts. Like the paper and yeah. stuff, but you're actually getting like the gift card and things that adds to it. And there's a £50 gift voucher in each cracker, in each cracker on each top cracker. of the uh, the item itself. Yeah. That's really good. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. So it sounds it sounds like a lot, but then you see it's in there. That was really good to see those. Apparently she said that normally in a year they the box would be a thousand pounds, but some of the items they put in they couldn't get or something. Um, anyway. I thought I would show you some decorations. Why have they got artichoke? Artichoke, <laughs> just in case. The Christmas section in Harrods this year, it was kind of a bit sad actually, because it's normally really uh, packed out and really big, but this year there wasn't much in it. And actually um, in pl the part three vlog, we went to uh, the Harrods outlet at Westfield and a lot of these baubles were there for a lot cheaper. Santa was also unable to make it to Harrods this year due to Covid, so oh, it's, it's a bit sad really. Sorry, where is the balloon dog? Oh, oh my god, that's quite cute. I know your favourite. Yeah, look. Slice of cake. <laughs> Slice of cake. I don't think any good rabbits. Oh, do you know Christmas this year feels weird. Feels really weird. Three times more. I know. Do you know the Christmas area is normally major, and this year it's not a lot here. I mean, I do understand. Oh my God! There's Miffy. Hey everyone! I've put my tree up. What do you think? Do you like it? Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so I wanted to show you the things that I purchased and also do a small mail time, which I'll talk about in a second for anyone who's new and you don't know what I'm talking about. For anyone who's used to being here and you know what that is, then hopefully you enjoy that. So the first half of this vlog, I actually filmed back in early November. So the videos that I've been doing, with the exception of the Westfield one, which was filmed on another day, they were all filmed on the same. So if you're like, why are you wearing the same outfit? Then that's why. Loungewear things. Things that I purchased at the time because we knew we were gonna be kind of stuck in the house and we thought, oh, we'll get some kind of loungewear items. I thought I'd share, you, share with you first some bedding. Um, back in the summer, I think I showed you, I'll just show you again now. I showed you some bedding that I purchased from this company and this company I actually found on Instagram. And when I found them, you know the ads that pop up? I'm always really suspicious because I've heard so many nightmare stories from people that have said that mm, a lot of those companies that advertise are not entirely legit and you don't get your item, etc. So what I do is if I see something that I quite like, I normally try and find the company direct online and I always pay with a credit card so if anything happens, I'm kind of safe. Anyway, I first purchased from this company back in the summer and the items arrived and they're so well priced but also the quality is really good. So I decided to get some more of the sheets and actually the design is the same as what you can see here, they're just plain white and they've got a grey kind of line around the outside and I got 
actually, hang on, that's, that's one. Can you see what that kind of looks like? It's got the, uh, it's got the grey edge on it. I got the pillows to match in a, um, do you get two? Yeah, in a package of pillows, you get two. Don't do the mistake I made, which is I thought you got one, so I ordered two packs and then I ended up with eight pillows. So, I mean, it's handy to have, um, but that's just something to let you know. So I got the pillows to match that bed sheet. Plus as well, they had a sale on at the time. They do that quite a lot. They do quite a lot of these promotional things and they do really nice quilts and items like that. The other items that I purchased at the time were a pair of these, you know how these kind of um, cashmere trousers are really trendy at the moment? But I wanted a lesser expensive uh, kind of item that I could wear because I almost want to save that cashmere set for best. I don't know. Um, and I found these because the cashmere stuff's expensive. I mean, from a cheap perspective, I've seen some online and they're like, way over £100 and that's just for the trousers. It's not even for the full set. So I found these in the White Company. These are not cashmere, so they're not as warm and they're not as soft, but you get a very similar look. And if you're working from home and you want to wear something that isn't, because I was kind of in early lockdown, I was just wearing David's Nike or Adidas uh, trousers. If you want something that's a, a bit, you know, more feminine or um, stylish, then these are quite nice. And these were 79.99, but the day we went into Harrods, they had a 10% off. So they were a little bit less than that. And I found them quite good. I have a size medium, because they didn't actually have a small, but they've got this drawstring, so it doesn't really matter. And then the second thing is a dressing gown. And this is a slightly shorter length. If I back up so you can see it. So it's just above the knee, quite like robes when they're about this length. How much was this? This was 50 pounds, which I thought, um, I've bought robes from Marks and Spencers before. And then they're normally, I mean, can you imagine how much it, like, why are they so expensive? The M&S ones are, are, are great, but they're quite pricey. And I saw this one and I thought, well, plus as well, I get the 10% off it. Then I replaced some beauty items and I've enjoyed this the most actually, probably through lockdown. Through lockdown, skincare has been my thing. I always really like skincare anyway, but because I haven't really been going anywhere, I've been doing, I kind of do like, it's like an all day facial really. So, and it's quite relaxing. And I use this brand, which is Origins. And normally, normally I only use this one which is the Drink Up Intensive Overnight. It's a mask, but I actually wear it as a day cream and a night cream. And I wanted to try the others in the range um, just to see if there was anything that I actually really liked that I was missing that I just hadn't tried. And this set was advertised on the Boots website and it's kind of one of those Christmas sets where you get one of everything and it's the mini size. So the white one here is for troubled skin and it's a 10 minute mask that you use if you're going through any breakouts and stuff like that. Then there's the cream, which I have been using since summer 2019 and I find it incredible. My skin, honestly, my skin has never looked better from using it. It is now, I use it in combination with this, which I'll come on to in a second, but that is incredible. I mean, if you've got oily skin, it might not work for you, but I have got dehydrated. It's not really dry. I mean, it can feel it, but it's more dehydrated skin. If you've got dry skin, even normal skin, I think you might find this is quite good. Then the pink one is the retexturizing mask. This is actually brilliant for if you go through any phases where your skin has got dry and you know how you can get, if you get really, really close, you get open pores or like those tiny, tiny, it's almost like crepiness, but it's not. I find that that is brilliant. And so when I'm using this, I don't use it all over my face. I just use it on my cheeks and sometimes on my forehead and that is it. And it's, it actually is very effective. Then the black one is for blocked pores. So I normally use that on my nose. And then this green one, 
This is another mask, relaxing and hydrating face mask with cannabis seed oil. Similar to the this one, the Advocado, I use it as a, a day and a night cream. It's not as moisturizing though as this one. So if you do have oily skin or kind of combination oily, then that one you might find quite good. Onto these two items that I've been using in combination. I hope this is interesting. Let me know if you quite are into the homeware stuff and skincare. These two in combination, this is the eye cream that I use. Been using it since 2016. And this is a new item that I've started using in combination with it. Both of these things, are like a serum so the eye cream is not a cream that sinks in and dry it's one that really deeply hydrates and it kind of sits on the skin quite a bit but it's a very thin serum when I use this any of those tiny fine lines that only really you can see when you get up close but when you smile or when you talk you know the tiny fine lines that you get there this i truly believe is a preventative and if you already have them i think it hides them slightly one of you actually tried this and you said to me well, what is in this it's kind of like botox in a bottle this this is a skin elixir with green caviar and what i do i've been using this probably since the beginning of the year because i think this is quite new i mix it on the back of my hand with the green you know the avocado thing and one thing it works amazing for is under the neck i don't know how it it honestly tightens it so i read something at the beginning of the year which is why i decided to try this and i read something um on this like skincare blog and it said that when you're younger if you don't take care of your neck skin and your decolletage skin that as you age, it can get crepey because um, gravity like affects all under here. And when you put on your moisturizer, you don't always think to take it down to this area. And I thought, right, I'm gonna, from now on, I'm doing the moisturizing. And I started doing it. My God, my skin texture, particularly here as well, because I used to sunbed and things like that, or I used to, I still do a bit when I go on holiday I really like to lie in the sun I find it really relaxing and that skin there is so thin that I've noticed now when I go out in the sun I almost see um, sun damage there that shows up because the sun is tanning me there it's really really weird since using this I honestly I feel like my neck has tightened so much and I use this, loads of this, mixed with the avocado, and I just cake it on my whole neck to here and my face. And then the final item is from Jo Malone. I haven't shopped here in a while, and I'd run out of the bath oil. I really like their bath oils. And also, they, you know the candle, pomegranate noir? I find that that is, I really like that for kind of winter and stuff like that. So I went in and purchased just in case you're interested to see the packaging because the packaging is always nice and for again for Christmas gifts you kind of don't even need to wrap it um, because it looks nice on its own actually correction I forgot I asked him not to put it in a box because um, I don't I don't need any uh, boxes you know around the house so I didn't do that but trust me when I say they come nicely wrapped so this is the bath oil the pomegranate noir one in the summer i really like the one that is peony and blush suede and also the rose one's really nice but in the winter this one's really good and then the candle as well i actually have a joe malone candle here this one's really good as well i can show you that in a second yeah this one let me try and show you without tipping the wax everywhere this is really lovely this is orange blossom i really like this scent it might be limited edition, that might be why it comes in a different coloured jar. This fragrance though, I really like strong orange blossom and I find that this one is quite um, light. So it's not the kind of fragrance that really fills a room. It's the kind of fragrance that you can kind of smell it once you're in the room, but it's not overpowering. And I, I probably would like it to be stronger than it actually is, but it's still quite pleasant. And you you can smell it as I say but it's just it's not as strong 
as this one where you really can um, get the scent off that, like the scent payoff is quite good. I'm gonna move on now to um, a male time. Now, you guys, oh my gosh, in the last week, the amount of male has been huge. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm breaking down the male and I'm putting it at, in different videos uh, so that it's not like one big thing because honestly, I could just do a mail time video on its own. There is that much. And I wanna thank all of you who take the time to write to me. Everyone who was in the last video, I haven't had a chance to write back to you yet, but everyone that was in the previous video, which was in October, I think, I've written back to all of you. So hopefully you've had your letters by now. I'm actually gonna start with one that I already know who it's from because you wrote to me back in October, September, October, I think, and it's from Portugal. No one has to send me anything, okay? So don't think, don't watch this and think, oh, I wanna write, but I need to like buy you something. You do not. You do not. I love your letters. So don't feel that you have to do that. As I mentioned, this is from, I think this is from Katia. Let me, and you've put, I think, oh my gosh. Oh, that is lovely. Katia sent me a picture from her wedding, which was on the 10th, well, it was in October 2020. I'm so glad that you both got to have your wedding as well, because I know you were saying that with everything going on at the moment, that you were worried it might not happen, but it did. Dear Sophie, I hope you and David and your families are in good health. Firstly, thank you for getting back to me. It was so greatly appreciated. The world seems to get crazier by the day. I recently lost my job and I'm still looking for a new job, which is proving to be really complicated because of the pandemic. I'm so sorry. There's so many people going through this at the moment and particularly business, like people that have got small businesses. Um, I know people that have use their mortgage to fund their small businesses and they are being killed at the moment. And the anxiety, you said it's tough, but this has given me the opportunity to reflect on what I want for my future. I'm applying for business school next year at university. And I have to say you inspire me so much to never settle down and always go for more in life. I do think that's important. I'm quite a restless person when it comes to life. I'm always questioning. Is this the right thing? Do I, is this what I want to be doing? And I think that's a good thing to do. Even if you're quite happy, it's good to just check in with yourself and make sure. In the meantime, I got married. Obviously it wasn't what I dreamed, but it was, it was filled with love and I wouldn't change a thing. We also had a lovely honeymoon in Paris. I'm so glad you got to go away. So glad. We thought long and hard at the time about if we should go or not and decided that this year had already taken too much from us and that at least we deserved a proper honeymoon. It was great. We went to Disney, we went shopping, we had the best Parisian honeymoon ever. At last, I plan to write to you again before Christmas, but if for some reason I can't, I wanted to give you a very small Christmas gift. Oh my word. It's nothing much, but it's from me and my hubby. The book reminded me of the pearl top handle that you made for your bags. And for David, we bought something funny for his desk. We really hope you like it. Stay safe and I'll wait for your next videos. Love, Katia and Pedro. That is so thoughtful. I have got the loveliest community on here. Do you know something? I really do. And I do not take it for granted. So this is uh, what Katia has sent. Oh, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Hang on, let me get closer. I'm hoping this camera is focused. Look, this is a leather notebook and it's got pearls on it. And you know I love a notebook. Oh my God, this is hilarious, look at this. I'm away, feel free to do my work. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I will write back. This is also from Portugal. This is from Beatriz. Hello Sophie, I want to thank you for your videos about life before YouTube. I'm going through a bit of a rough patch at my job and I don't, en I don't enjoy it, and I've just finished paying my student debt off. Every day I dream of quitting to find something better and your videos help me. It's like escapism, but also no one seems to talk about when they were struggling except you. Thank you. Your support helps me 
and I know that success is right around the corner. I promise to write back again once everything is much better. Thank you for being an inspiration of success, but also showing honesty how hard things were on the way there. My vision board has been working really well for everything except a new job. I hope it's coming soon. Again, I'm so sorry for what you were going through. And if it's any consolation at all, everyone's, you know, all of us go through things in life that are horrible. And at the time, I think I've told you this, but I love this story. And I remember when it happened and I remember thinking, I'm never going to forget this. I'm gonna remind myself of this all the time. In life, we all go through things. And some of those things are hell, complete hell. And you think, how is this ever going to write itself? How is it ever going to sort itself out? And I think it was Steve Jobs that said something that to me really rang true. He said that when you're going through things in life, whether they're good or whether they're bad or indifferent, you're going through something right now and you just have to have the faith that in the future, when you look back on this time, it will make sense. All the dots continue to add up. And I really feel like that. I really feel that even the terrible things that have happened to me kind of needed to happen for me to be able to move on to the next thing, which was actually really good. And it's the most bizarre thing. And Beatrice, you might find that in the future, this, maybe this leads you to something better. I'm actually very sure it will do. I'm actually very sure. And the vision board thing just works. It's creepy. This next letter is from Honolulu. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. You said I can read it out. Good, good. Hi Sophie. My name is Jordan. I'm 21. I'm a dental assistant and I'm from Vermont, USA. I currently live in Hawaii. My husband is in the Air Force, so we had to move. Don't get me wrong, Hawaii is great, but I do miss my family. I stumbled upon your channel during lockdown and I immediately became obsessed. I love how genuine you are. Thank you for continuing videos during such strange times. I find myself living curiously through all of your vlogs. The best distraction that I could have asked for. I'm really glad because I worry with my videos that they're quite boring. I'm so excited for the stores to open back up so that I can go and buy the YSL Toy Lulu. My dream bag is the Lady Dior, but I can't bring myself to spend that much. Can I recommend, unless there's a certain new design, like, you know, the Ultra Map, that might, this tip might not work for that. But if you're looking at a Lady Dior, check out Pre-Loved because with the exception of the mini size, I'm finding at the moment the smaller the bag, the more expensive. But if you want the medium, possibly the small, you can buy them pre-loved and they drop in price. The mini doesn't seem to, but the slightly bigger ones do. So unless there is a style that you can only get right now, in which case if they do come up, I find that they are as much, if not more, than just going to the shop. I would say have a browse. You've inspired me to start a vision board. I can't wait to see the things come to fruition. Thank you for taking the time to read my letter. I wish you and David continued health and happiness. Thank you again, Jordan. Jordan, what a nice letter. Uh, two more. We've got one from Texas and one from Vegas. You know, I was hoping to go to Vegas some point soon. I don't know now if it's gonna happen. Does anyone feel really fatigued and tired with this year? I was talking to a friend of mine the other day and just and not physically tired, but just mentally completely fried. I don't know, because all of the fun's gone out of life and I'm quite a positive person, but some days I'm waking up at the moment and I'm like, oh my God, I can't. Like, thank God work has been okay this year. And work has been the thing, and my YouTube, both of those things have been the thing that I've been able to chuck my time into because I've had, so, you know, I've had quite a lot of free time that I would usually have used for social. And actually, YouTube has been one of the things that this year I have been most grateful for. I tell you why. 
In previous years, I make videos because I find them really fun to make. It is certainly true that there are points in time where finding the time to make them is difficult. So I tend to make them, and I've always done this, even when I worked back in an office environment, I always dictate a couple, or, or dedicate, a couple of weekends in a month where I block film loads of videos and then if I happen to go out in the month and I vlog it, that's like an extra bonus video. And then what I do is either on those weekends or just as and when in an evening, in an evening I edit them. And I've always done that, but before this year, definitely there have been points where I'm like, and I have missed video uploads, there have been points where I've thought, I don't really have the time for this and it's kind of a stress. But this year, I have been even more grateful for it because everything that's gone on, I have felt like, particularly in the first three months of lockdown, which was scary and you didn't know what was gonna happen, to have all of you to talk to all around the world, going through this in different ways, feeling different things about it, being able to talk to people outside of the house helped so much and I really hope that it helped you guys who watched as well to have been able to communicate with people in the comments you know everyone dealing with it differently some people finding it really hard and the way you all helped each other and I also felt the same and this year was one particular year where I thought I am so glad that I have this space to come and talk to people. It's very comforting. This is from Anna. This card's nice. Look at this. That is really nice. Sophie, thank you so much for making your videos. They have been my escape over the last few months. Mine as well, with all of you. Honestly, they have. You say that you suffer from severe anxiety and watching is so soothing. And honestly, you can say that it's helped you a lot. I love how honest you are and I love to watch you, um, the past travel videos. They take me to these beautiful places that I hope to one day be able to go to or be able in this time to be able to go to. I wish you and your family all the best during these times. Thank you again and keep up the wonderful work from Anna. Lovely card, Anna. Now for the last card from Texas. This video is gonna be really long. Dear Sophie, my name is Varsha and I started following your channel since the beginning of the year. I had no clue at the time and I stumbled across your channel. You didn't realise that it was going to be such a blessing for me this year. I'm in my final year at university in Dallas, Texas and it's definitely not how I pictured my last year in college would be. In addition to Covid, I've been through a major breakup this year as well as other personal struggles. Your videos have been a blessing to me because they have brought me a sense of peace in such a turbulent time. Your intelligence, David would argue with that, your intelligence, elegance and style inspire me every day. Additionally, your bright and positive personality inspire me to be more hopeful and positive. Having a hard day, it's all worth it at the end when I get to sit down with a glass of wine and enjoy your videos. Your videos are not only enjoyable, but they're extremely informative and helpful as your advice about personal goals and current goals are also very helpful to me as I'm finishing college and looking for jobs now. Is there any advice you would give to someone coming fresh into the job market during COVID? In all honesty, I don't have loads of knowledge on this purely because I'm not in touch with the job market at the moment, if you know what I mean. Um, I do get the feeling from places like LinkedIn, you know, just conversations people are having on there. I get the feeling that one of two things is happening. A lot of people are being let go from jobs possibly by companies who wanted to harshly have a clear out in the first place. That's the feeling I get. But also, I think that there are a lot of new opportunities opening up. So I do think at the same time, there are opportunities to be had. What I would say is get your CV up to date. The hardest thing when you finish college is that you've got your qualifications but you don't have the experience and you and people people don't even want to interview you they're like oh you don't have any experience well of course I don't 
and I'm never going to have that unless you kind of help me out a bit here. What I would try and do is any jobs you've had in the past. So when I first started, I kind of, you know, I'd worked in restaurants and a care home and things like that. You would be surprised. There will be skills in jobs like that that you've picked up. Even things like being able to deal with customers, being able to not be nervous about that, being able to be proactive. So I would take a moment to go over the things you've done in the past and I always say take out key, key things that you've done in those jobs and describe them in more business um, terms. So let's say that you, um, you worked in a bar and you dealt with customers, you could call that, you know, um, it's kind of a, a form of customer service really. Uh, and that's, if, if you really think about it, I think that there are many key skills that you would be able to describe in a business term that an employer would want to potentially have you do. You might find that you only really get offered jobs that are nothing to do with your experience, like your degree, and you don't really want to do them. But if it's the only job you can get, take them because it is experience. And as I say, there will be things in that job that you can kind of jazz up in business terms and put on your CV. So that's what I'd say. And to any jobs that you apply to, I always amend my CV to make it make my CV sound exactly like the job brief so that I sound perfect for that job. Once again, I want to thank you for sharing your lovely videos. I spent last summer in London studying and doing an internship. Well, there you go. I didn't see that. There will be so much in that internship that you can take key terms from and break down into, into experiences and even the fact that you went to London for it, your ability to say, I actually left the country and I worked abroad. That is all, that shows, you know, another level of professionalism and flexibility. So I think there's loads you can do with that. I hope you and David are staying safe and healthy. Lots of love, Varsha. Thank you so much for your letter. I'll write back, but hopefully that small amount of advice on COVID, actually not just to you, but to anyone watching, if you've lost your job or if you're looking for a new job, um, there might be something there that helped. A big thank you to anyone who's still here watching. Well done to you. 